So you may, for example, want to set a certain limit for executives and a certain limit for non-executive staff. You might have a certain group of contractors that you want to have less available. Lots of different options for who you apply that to based on the organization of units. How can I give one user the majority of the Google Drive space available is currently limited to 30 gigabytes and the other four users do not need that much space. I want to give one user about 125 gigabytes and the others what's left. That's an excellent question because I read this on some forums and I haven't actually checked it myself. I believe there might be a policy for storage. Let's go ahead and have a look at our policies and see if we can find it. Now, something that's very important for you to understand is when you're going into creating policies inside Google Workspace, most of those are just gonna be inside your admin panel. So you head along to admin.google.com. That's gonna open up your admin panel. Let's try storage. Oh, look at that. It looks like they've created some policies here in storage. So inside the storage menu, which must be a brand new menu since they changed their accounts, we can set a storage limit for the user or a storage limit just for shared drives. So if I use the user storage limit, I can switch that on and select a particular storage unit per user. And because I have the ability to set this limit to different organizational units, I can set different limits for different staff. So you may, for example, want to set a certain limit for executives and a certain limit for non-executive staff. You might have a certain group of contractors that you want to have less available. Lots of different options for who you apply that to based on the organizational units. Now, the cool thing about organizational units is they actually cascade. So if you set one policy at the top level, it's automatically going to apply to all of the sub levels. But if you wanted to have one policy for the whole company, and let's say you've got some outliers, like maybe the executive group, well, then you can set it at the executive group. And you can see that right here, it currently says that it inherits the settings. Well, when I choose to change this policy, it will no longer inherit the limits. You'll see here that when I go ahead and set the policy, the button here is to override, and that is no longer going to inherit the policy. It's gonna override it at the sub level. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.